How to calculate work done by a force? In physics, work is done whenever a force results in a displacement. Mathematically, work is defined as the scalar product of force and displacement that is, W is equal to F into dS cos theta. Where F is the force exerted, dS is the small displacement caused by the force and theta is the angle between force and displacement. Using calculus, we can say work done is the path integral of force and displacement. The SI unit of work and energy is the joule, named after the English physicist James Joule. One joule is equal to one newton meter. Let's solve an example to understand the method of calculating work. Question A light inextensible string that goes over a smooth fixed pulley, as shown in the figure, connects two blocks of masses 0.36 kg and 0.72 kg, taking g equal to 10 meter per second square. Find the work done in Joule by string on the block of mass 0.36 kg during the first second after the system is released from rest. This question was asked in JE Main 2009 exam. Solution We are given mass of block A equal to 0.36 kg and mass of block B equal to 0.72 kg. Time given is equal to 1 second. And we have to find the work done by the tension in the string connecting blocks A and B. Since block B is heavier than block A, therefore block B will move downwards and block A will move upwards with same acceleration A. Let's draw the free body diagram of block A. Tension acting on block A will be in upward direction and the gravitational force MA into G will act in the downward direction. Since block A is moving upwards, therefore acceleration of block A will be in the upward direction. Similarly, let's draw the free body diagram of block B. Tension acting on block B will be in upwards direction and the gravitational force MB into G will act in downwards direction. Since block B moves downwards, therefore the acceleration of block B will be in the downward direction. From Newton's second law of motion, we know that net force acting on a body is equal to its mass into acceleration. Applying this on block A gives us Tension minus 0.36G equal to 0.36A. Let's call this equation 1. Similarly, for block B, we can write 0.72G minus tension equal to 0.72A. Let's call this equation 2. By adding and subtracting equation 1 and 2, we get acceleration A equal to G by 3 and tension T equal to 0.48G. Now we can find the displacement of block by using second equation of motion which is S equal to UT plus half AT square. Since system is released from rest, therefore initial velocity U is 0. Hence, our equation becomes S equal to half AT square. On putting the value of acceleration and time, we get net displacement S equal to G by 6. Now, work done by force is given by the relation F dS cos theta. Here, the constant force is tension. Work down by tension is equal to TS cos theta. Angle between tension and displacement is zero. Putting the values of tension and displacement, we get work done by tension equal to 8 joules. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for study.